Hey everyone, good afternoon. My name is Michael McAfee. Uh, I'm going to be reading some poetry for you. Now, most poetic uh, poetry sets, uh, the person has determined the poems ahead of time. Uh, but so I've written a, a compilation of uh, poems, uh, 78 of them, one for each card in a standard tarot deck. So rather than me choosing, I figure it'd be a lot more appropriate to have volunteers draw cards from the standard tarot deck and uh, I'll read the poems based uh, that are uh, key to each one. So if everyone understands the concept now, so uh, if I could get a volunteer to draw a card, any card. All right. All right, so the first poem will be based off the Four of Wands. Right, let's get a good Four of Wands. <laughs> Now that the world has been created, fire stolen from the gods and given, Odin's runes written on stones, let us relax and our labors enjoy. Celebrate, scientists. Be happy down in hydroponics as flowers blossom, blooms beauty. Celebrate this solid magic. Celebrate, sunmakers. Behind the woods, the hive of trees, the harp garden, the garland of nature, wreathed with flora, flowers, breath. Archangels of the streets, dance in those districts of industry. Celebrate with socialites as was done long ago. Back in the days of World War, investigators, gumshoes, code breakers who cracked enigma, all rejoiced when work was done. And will they carouse in days to come when finally we fare the void, emissaries out in space, ships of, ships of seekers searching the stars? And is it just the earthbound? Or do the ones with life have fun, let loose beyond the veil, jubilant ghosts, joyful watchers? So make merry, providers of mead, wreath the room, revel and groove, the party people paint the town from their troubles, their trials and cares. They stay detached. They turn their backs. They put away their passions and stirrings. They nurture life, the thread of the Norns. But when the monsters, chokers of men, arrive for them, rolling their feet, when the dragons, wardens of evil, and the wolves, winter's jaws, come with the frost, the freezing time, then there will be time to worry, then, at the end of everything. So you can see now how that kind of goes. So let's get another volunteer. Here we go. For the shiny one, we get to the nine of, of wands. Hmm, seem to be getting wand heavy this, uh, this session. Uh, let's see here, nine of wands, here we go. An old researcher of this world examines his own life. In war, he leaned upon a cane and faced all kinds of strife. The ship he traveled in has wrecked. The wounded have been healed. The light he's followed guards him now and has his path revealed. He wears a bandage on his head. He fought for truth and right. His strength is gone, but now he leads his men more fit to fight. And when it's time for him to die, and he becomes a wraith, he'll scout ahead for greener hills, rewarded for his faith. Yeah. Let's see, let's draw next one. Top one, here we go. Ah, seven of wands. Boy, we are wand heavy today. Here we go. All right, the seven of wands. Okay, this one's... Uh, for those of you who are into poetry, this is a sort of a modified sonnet form. Uh, it was done like by, uh, I think it was Ben Jonson in the 17th century, so. Upon a bridge, a knight in black is standing guard. He only bears a staff, time-worn and scarred, to fight the foemen coming to attack. He sent a messenger before, to wear, of half a dozen soldiers set for war, who seek to end his life and strip him bare. To hold the bridge, he sorely will be pressed. Uncertain is the outcome of this test. The knight is sure the bridge won't fall beneath his weight. 
his footing sure, as is his trust in fate. The trees beside the path serve as a wall, so none can sneak around behind. The fight will happen face to face. This suits his temper and his frame of mind. The details do not matter in this place. All that matters now is one's belief. But then a doubt creeps in, just like a thief. This seems familiar somehow, this battle scene. As if in repetition, could it mean he's done this all before and not just now? Perhaps he died in this defense and now relives his final breath. A trauma that he suffered so immense, it steals him from the final peace of death. But no, he shall not give into such fear. Another likelihood must serve him here. Perhaps this fight within the wood was written down in later days by someone back in town who saw in this the triumph of the good, or maybe turned into a play and reenacted week on week, the actors looking back upon this day to furnish what their audiences seek. So on his deeds, their future joys depend, and that is why this bridge he shall defend. So I think I have time now for just one more poem. If we can make it a good short one. Uh, yeah, sure, why don't you call So I'd like to thank again uh, SCA TV and the Media Center for allowing me this time. Ah, Knight of Cups, yep. This will be a good one to finish up on. All right, now this one is, uh, is called a Tertzinelle, the form is called a Tertzinelle. It's a one of these kind of ones that you take a line and you repeat it at various points in the, in the uh, poem, and each time it repeats, it should help bring light, different light. The knight is riding northward to the sea to bring relief to all who suffer there with joy, compassion, skill, and constancy. He smells the desperation in the air. He feels no doubt. He knows there will be pain to bring relief to all who suffer there. No matter if the people show disdain, the mountains could not sway him from his course. He feels no doubt. He knows there will be pain. He pauses to give water to his horse and watch the crescent moon bejewel the sky. The mountains could not sway him from his course. He paused too long. He spurs his mount to fly. He must not be distracted by the land and watch the crescent moon bejewel the sky. The people he must save are near at hand. He must not be distracted by the land. The knight is riding northward to the sea with joy, compassion, skill, and constancy. So I want to thank everyone for being kind enough to draw the cards and determine the poems. So thank you so much for, uh, for allowing me this time. So once again, please, if you can, if you have time, please, if you have the time and resources, donate uh, to this wonderful cause and help bring uh, media to, uh, to sum continue to Somerville.
everybody. We're the Wildflower Trio. Uh, we're so excited to be here at uh, SCAT TV today um, for Speak Up Somerville. We're really in, involved with the community and we know that SCAT TV is too. And we're really interested in uh, you guys speaking up, donating um, to keep the awesome programming these guys have going. Um, the next song we're doing is a song by Tom Petty, which is kind of where we got our name. Um, it's called Wildflowers. Silver Dagger. It's an old American folk ballad. We have some instrument switching going on. <laughs> Sing the song. 
Timey song. It's called uh, Women's Train. And thanks again for having us. We're the Wildflower Trio. Thank mm-hmm. you.